Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome to the Cursed Out Spawn PK Bank video of 2023. I know this is a long awaited video and I know that I've procrastinated doing it, but before we get into it, let's talk about today's giveaway. We are giving away one ancient Hydra pet. This thing is extremely expensive, one of the best PvP pets in the entire game. Uh, and I have 18 of them, so you'll see more more ridiculous stuff like this in the in the bank video. I think these are like 100 trill each right now, anywhere from like 80 to 100. Yeah, around that price. I would say 100 trill each. So yeah, 100 trill giveaway on this video. What you got to do apply to apply for that is like the video, comment your in-game name in the comment section to be subscribed. And that's it, folks. That simple, that easy. So let's get into the bank video. There's a lot to talk about here. Uh, just a little teaser here on the bottom of all the bulks. And without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first we are at seven quadrillion gp in cash bags this is 70 million bags this is the biggest amount i've ever had by far and probably the biggest anyone's ever had um the change from last year to this year of bank value is like extremely different there's huge huge changes in here um wealth wise it's it's gotten crazy as you can see in the title like we're we're, we're dealing with probably like 100 quad so let's get over everything. So first of all, we got the 70 mil cash bags, 21 million donator tickets. I think from last year, we've gained like five mil of those. Blood money, we're at 38 mil. We gained around eight mil in the past year. Uh, our bond stack has shrunk quite a lot because of the release of the Cosmic Donator, which is, by the way, for those of you who don't know, the $10,000 donator status comes with a really cool new zone. Uh, a lot of really cool benefits in here, but that's not what this video is about. So let's go back to Colon Cola Meat and get back to our bank. So got all those, 1K $5 bonds in total. It's probably like, I don't know, 30 grand in bonds here, if not a little bit more. The $500 bond also got released, which is pretty cool. Only got one of those in the bank. Uh, as for our rare sets, we've got 12 Dark Mystic Infinities, two regular Mystic Infinities. These are extremely rare. Uh, I don't know anyone who has these at the moment, besides like a couple people. Blood Shaman sets, we got two of each. 32 Crest sets and extra 50 Helms. A lot of the Enchanted Event Hunter stuff, uh, I just collect these. I don't really know why. There's nothing else I can really do with them except enchant them, so I figure, hey, why not? I usually do them with like some sort of giveaway associated. Uh, we got seven Lunar Hide sets. This has shrunk a lot. These are also gone way up. They're like 100 to 120 trill each right now, so this is an easy 700 trill. Full Ethereal, which is now all tradable. These three items here didn't used to be tradable. Now they are. To the Boots Eye. Our Slayer Helmet collection has, I think grown but also like the the relics have shrunk because of the release of the new slayer helmets uh, the ultimate slayer helm and then we i'll also show the other ones too you've probably seen it earth blood earth slayer helmet blood lava slayer helmet blood frost slayer helmet ultimate slayer helmet these are all very good this being the combination of all three of these it's crazy good helmet really really cool very expensive to make our third age sets here with the third age mystery box coming out there's a slowly third age pieces trickling in but not a lot not enough that it really matters to to the value of our bank here um, we've got, you know, five range sets, seven melees, and a weird assortment of mage. Uh, our our die justiciar and ancestral, a lot of dragon G items, a lot of next items. I'm going for a thousand of each of these, still haven't reached that for any of them. Uh, Webweaver bow, Ursine Chain Mace, Accursed Scepter, those are all new because that just came out this year, I think. Uh, got a Blood Mancer pendant, we've got a bunch of these stuff. Uh, a rares here, six Tome of Fire Eyes, six Tomes of Frost, we also have one of the TP. Uh, and then, yeah, we got all of our customs down here. Oh, 1K T-Bows, which is pretty cool. Going, uh, That was the goal for the year, so I'm just going to go for 2,000, I guess. Uh, we're working towards the 1,000 sets of it are slowly, but it's not quite there yet. We're, we're, we're getting there slowly. I want to get 28 of these as well. Uh, these are our customs. I will do a separate video uh, going over all the customs, as the, we did that last year, too. And somebody requested for me to go through all the cosmetics, too. So I'll, I'll do a video going over customs and the rarest cosmetics from our collection. That brings us to our next tab, our pet tab, which is our biggest tab or second biggest tab after this one. So we've got a bunch of these accessories, which don't super matter. A lot of the grand promo pets and the most expensive item in the entire game, the Divine Hawk. I used to have two. I only have one. That has not changed this year, though. Three Unholy Hawks. These things are pretty rare. Got a lot of these spirit pets. Anything that's notable, I tend to collect. I don't know why. Um, these didn't used to be notable. I, uh, I very much petitioned for them to be, and I'm glad that they are. Um, 80 enchanted Yoshi pets. I had close to 100. The goal is 100. We'll get there eventually. Been buying infernal Yoshis, nocturnal Yoshis, all these Yoshis. We reached 114 infernals, going for 100 of the nocturnals. Our goal for the year was 5,000 Yoshi pets, and I have slam dunked that. So, been keeping those up in price for a while now at 100 bill each. So, pretty cool to see. That's 537 trillion, those, by the way. Uh, this thing also is probably worth like quadrillions. Don't know exactly how much. Um, this stack is what? 100 trill. 
80 trill, uh, 75 trill, something like that. I didn't go over a lot of prices in the first tab, but there's there's a lot of money here. Is is the is the the gist of it? Got a lot of the Phoenix pets, a lot of the Tecton pets. Been collecting these Ancient Guardians because again they're notable. 16 Easter Guardians. These don't really come along very often, but hey, I, I have them. I'm just keeping them. 19 Limit Break Berserks. A lot of Holies. All this you know old Berserkers. 569 aliens going for a thousand eventually, but again, they're expensive. It's like 120 trillion aliens alone right there. A lot of these aliens here. Charmed alien this year became useful because of the new looting bag that pretty much makes a Yoshi not as useful. Uh, got it some frosts. The treasure fairy pet collection's looking nice. Tectonics, Viries, 94 baby forks. I had 100 at one point. I don't know what I did with six of them, but they're gone. 23 arcade worms. A lot of the old event pets here too. 928 death pets. We are so close to a thousand, so close to the goal on there, which is pretty damn sick. Uh, I think last year we only had 2,000 of these. We have over doubled that. 4,475 mini pets. These didn't used to be notable. Now they are, which is cool. Again, I'm very much happy that I petitioned. I petitioned the uh, the the spawn beacon community to get along noting these because I, I don't know having things be notable is just it makes life so much easier a lot of death pets a lot of shadow pets a lot of doppelganger pets a lot of shades all these here 5071 genie pets which i think is like 50 trill not a lot worth but hey we got 10 forts most people think i have way more of these i only have 10 fortunate genies they are expensive but those are all the ones that i have um it's like i don't know a quad there this is also 447 trill uh, 300 trillion winter demons, a lot of solar demons, a lot of lunar demons, Wolpertinger pets. I'm slowly raising that collection. I don't really know exactly why, but hey, if it's ever a fuse, I have a bunch. Our giant Wolper pet is still recuperating from the E Wolper fuse. These do not come into the game very often. They are pretty damn rare. Got a lot of Nilos here. What else is really interesting? 338 Skatizo pets. This collection hasn't grown, but I still think it's pretty cool that we have 338 of these. I was buying these out when they were like 250 bill. I've been buying them for a while, and then they, they reached like a trill, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to raise the price on these. I, there's no point. And also, like, people people need this pet. It's a pretty pretty good pet. Um, yeah, I, I, I bought them when they were like 250 each, and now they're just skyrocketing. Um, yeah, we have way too many. Hopefully, there's a pet fuse of them eventually. That'd be pretty cool, because then I'm just so fucking prepped. Uh, our, our boss pet stacks have grown not that much. I haven't really been buying those too much. But when, when I see them, I do. Our Bloodlord pet and Cerberus pets definitely have grown. A lot of event pets here, a lot of really cool stuff. The rare skeleton pets. For those of you who haven't seen these, they're pretty cool. Skeleton heavy pet. This is just an old, old pet. Skeleton warlord pet. I think I got like one more of each of these this year, but maybe not. And a skeleton thug pet right there. They look cool. They're, they don't do anything, but they're level 90. They're one of the few pets that actually have like a level on them, which is kind of cool. Although that one doesn't. And let's keep going. We got 18 Pestilent Bloats. These are a very nice tank pet here. 40 Mad Hatters. I have a Jungle Dragon. It's on my other account. I don't know why I didn't put that back on here. But it exists, I promise. Uh, 23 Holy Nightmare. 17 Ultimate Omelets. We've got four, actually five Unholy Behemoths. And, uh, one in the TP. Uh, I recently sold one for 19 million bags, which is pretty cool. I also won a bunch off of Resvano, as you probably saw in the Resvano vs. Cursed Out video, where we did a big ol' eco showdown. It was crazy. We won three Unholy Behemoths off of him, so now we have five total. It, not including our custom ones down here, which is, what, another two? Yeah. We've got really expensive stuff here. This is in total with the one in the, in the TP, like 10 quad. Um, got a bunch of Wicked Wraiths. Wicked Zarpus, this is a rare one. I don't know where they all went, but they seem to all be just gone. Uh, five Holy Corpse, we had two last year. They they were recently released in the, uh, in the what's it called? In the Enhanced Pet Fuse Box, so they are more common than they used to be. We got 41 Ultimate Easter Cow Fights. These things have been going up in price for like 30 trill, so it's like 1.2 quad. We've got like 700 trill and limit breaks there. 18 Ancient Hydras, that's 1.8 quad, and Hydras, which is pretty cool. A lot of Next Pets, a lot of Harbinger Nexus, a lot of Crantmares, a lot of Evil Crantmares. We're doing those for giveaways. 225 Ice Lords, 10 Mystical Ice Lords, a 4 quad right there. 10 Evil Wolpers, which is like 3.5 quad right there. So, you know, the bank value just skyrockets when you look at this part of the bank. We've got 67 Spring Rev Treasure Pets. I don't know how much these are, but that is very expensive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's uh, a, a quad, I want to say, if not more. Also got 14 Veowulf, that's the most recent pet that was brought out. But I, I figure it's a it's a nice looking pet tab, you know, we've got we've got just insane amounts of money here. And this tab I think has changed a bit. We got a lot of e-hearts. Um oh, this is most of our like untradables and stuff. Got 214k wanderers tokens. I stopped recording those, so <laughs> nice to go over them now, I guess. Got two of each of the well items too. 
Uh, anything else super cool to show off? The pet fuse chest is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, got all the new YouTuber party hats, which is sick as well, as well as all these tokens that I'm working on getting up and the challenge tickets. This is an annoying thing. Not annoying. D don't get me wrong. Annoying is the wrong word. I just, this is going to take me absolutely forever. I really want this challenge icon. It's going to cost me a thousand challenge tickets, which is not a quick feat at all. So, you know, we'll get it eventually, but damn, it's slow. Been farming a lot of cosmic tokens as well. Uh, that's to get the collection log stuff done. But yeah, this is probably our, this isn't our messiest tab, honestly. This is a pretty decently organized tab. Next up, we've got the, uh, you know, the the, the regular PvP stuff. Uh, our AGS stack, because I think double, we're at 413k. The goal is a million of these eventually, but that will take me quite a bit of time. Regular regular Godsword stacks have definitely shrunk. I think I, I went for a lot of stuff in the collection log there. Uh, this is just, you know, regular stuff here. We got 919,000 Tokar Cals. That's not really grown in the past year. The DH sets sure have, though, which is pretty sick. Been buying those out whenever I can. D Claws, G Mauls. I'm so close to 100,000 Bando sets. Or not that close, but probably in the next year I'll get it, which is pretty sick. Uh, I bought a bunch of PvP armors. I don't know how much has grown. 369k more against Jabs, which is cool. The Obsidian stacks, we finally reached 1,000 Obsidian Helms, which is great. We want to get 10,000 of each of these, too, and 1,000 of each Chaotic, but it's a slow burn on those. Bought a bunch of these recently. I don't know. That's that's not that different. Uh, our Serp Helm stack is growing. All of our stacks have grown, or most of them, anyway. Um, our rings have definitely grown. I've been buying these for way too much money, just because I enjoy the stacks growing up. Uh, the Dragon Throne Axes are a nice little collection here. I like anything that can say 100k or more, you know, any of the white stacks I'm a big fan of. Reaver hides are a new thing. I didn't really do that. I didn't interact with that content all too much. Uh, let's go on to the next tab here. This is the third most expensive tab or the second. I don't really know. 23 Dark Rossies. We're looking at like 230 trail, if not more. These are the most expensive weapons in the entire game. The Karazi weapons, the swords. I recently got another sword, which is cool. Uh, we got another maul and another axis here too, actually, which is pretty sick. Uh, these go for like 600 700 trillion each so like let's say on the lower end that's three quad 1.8 quad 1.2 quad and again that's a low low estimate our tectonic sets are i think are exactly the same or close to the same anyway so they're they're, they're looking pretty pretty nice there i do pk with tectonic still but i mostly go out with torva and like extra risk because these are two trilly each right now because the wandering merchant very expensive item our inquisitor sets i've grown definitely almost at 100 of each which is cool i do want to get 100 stats uh, sets of those eventually but all things in time blood face guards ags or collection has grown definitely i've been buying these out like crazy um it's one of the items i've been keeping up in price for like two years now grazi rapier is finally at a thousand which is sick uh 200 dragon hunter lances 534 lance eyes and again the goal on this is a thousand eventually i think without me buying these out these things would be like 200 bill each which is crazy to me because they are worth for the weapon that they are so much more uh, 121 elemental maces our goal for the year was 100 i definitely slammed that out the park we got nine bryos now i think we had six before i won a bunch staking uh this is our malevs it's not a ton of malevs we've got almost as many cross not almost as many we got a decent amount of crossy swords compared to our malev swords though five jungle totem lanterns our sun sphere stack is growing too almost at 100 not almost but getting near uh we got 72 sun spheres now last year we had like 30. uh our torture stack has grown kodai stack has grown wish these were notable that'd be pretty cool all this stuff would be really cool if it was notable shout out to 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 ryan make that happen please i beg of you uh 1395 karasis we got a bunch of siren tome dark serps curse ancient staffs looking good as well been buying those out the goal was 100 we reached 156 fork battle axes are up to anguishes what else we got ancient wards here our crest mage sets are a little wonky but you know it's it's fine i'm giving a bunch of these away for the uh for, for this next round of giveaways anyway Got 110 Calamitous Rings this year. Not as many Vigors. I've been selling those as they come in. Oh, wait. No, that's not true. Those are mostly in here. Yeah, that's where those are. Anywho, our Swift Bow stack, I think, has grown a bit, but not a ton. I haven't really been thinking about buying these. I just remember that this stack was even here. That's like uh, 150 trillion Swift Bow, something like that. Uh, eight Cursed Stat Hammers, five Cursed Vestas Long Swords, bunch of Inquisitor Mauls, and Dark Toxic Blowpipes. Our Dagon High is a weird thing here. We had, I think three full sets, but then the Wandering Merchant just stole them from me. 25 Haunted Xerath Bows, 10 Dark Crystals, pretty damn cool. I like collecting the like the source material for a lot of items. I think that's pretty fun. 80 Balmungs, 3 Frosted T-Bows, 1,328 Bloodfire Shields. The goal was 1,000. We've definitely smashed that. 46 Grand Rings, which is pretty cool. Uh, these I just sell over time. I don't know. Uh, not a ton of dyed Tectonic, but I guess I could start using that again. That'd be pretty cool. 
Blade of Saldor stack has definitely grown. We got 177 of these bad boys. Got 133 full sets of crystal and of, of various pieces. I usually, if I do drop parties, which I do all the time pretty much, um, these are one of the first things to go. I don't know why. I mean, like, that makes for a good drop, you know? 43 Bofas, these have gone way up in price. I think I bought those when they were like, I don't know, 200 bill each. I, I, I searched Bofa, Boa Ferdinand. Yeah, they're way up now. Also got another Lunar Light. These are extremely rare from the summer event 2021, I wanna say. Cannot find these anywhere. They're very expensive. Um, they're very good against dragons and demons, as you can see by this little description here. A lot of Karazis, a lot of Cursed Karazis, 22 Wanderers Reigns I. This is like 440 Trill right there. 110 Ferocious Gloves. I think this hasn't really grown or shrunk at all. It's just remained the same. Blades of Seldor have definitely shrunk. There's our Dides Gatizos, Malev Cannons, Boa Ferdinand Eyes, a lot of Marauders. Uh, our our Godsword OR stacks have definitely grown as well, which is cool. Got a lot of Wanderers Amulets, a lot of Wanderers Amulets I. Uh, these are super fucking rare. You cannot find these like anywhere. Got a bunch of dyed scythes, uh, got a regular scythe, this is a pretty rare one here, and two dyes themselves. A lot of festive claws, brimstone ornament kits, these rare staves, these are the imbued god staves, uh, you can't find these really either. A lot of scrolls here, a lot of easter DH, malevolent clamps, a lot of totem lanterns. These last year I think were like two trillion, another like five. The relics, these have all gone up in price like crazy. Two dragon upgrade scrolls. I had more. I don't really know what happens to them. I think I just like end up hosting the same versus them, and then I keep if I lose, and I, I get rid of if I don't. Um, Zerai crossbows have gone up a bunch too. A lot of Torva eye sets, a lot of Pernix eye sets, a lot of these Furies from the Nightwinter event. Uh, I don't really know why I collected these, but I did. I like to keep them in price. Seven Fangs, little cursed uh, Karasi kit. These Swords of Sacrifice are weird ones, but uh, they were from the, I don't remember what the event was even called, a little mini event that we had. They look pretty cool. Got a Gommel's Hilt. This thing is pretty rare too. I don't know if anybody's seen this yet, but uh, if you do this and you teleport anywhere, this is the new teleport that you get. Boom. Looks so cool. Got 19 Avarice Eyes now. I, these things, I don't know, just fluctuates like crazy always. They're, they, they crash, they go up, they go down, whatever the fuck. Let's move on to the cosmetics tab here. A lot of money's worth of stuff in here. I calculated them all a while ago at like the lowest possible prices, like really, really, really cheap. Uh, and it, it came out to over a quad. I just rounded it down to a quad because I knew people would be unhappy about that. We got the new founder sets though, which is pretty cool. Um, like in, in these coins alone, right? We've got Nightwinter Vintage caskets at six coins each. We've got 870 of these. That's like 250 trail, if not more. I don't want y'all to think that I'm like overinflating the price of the bank because it, it, it's a lot, you know, but I, I did. I calc everything. It took me like six hours to calculate everything. Next tab, we've got 180. Oh, by the way, this will be a separate video along with the customs over you. Don't worry. We'll, we'll go through all this because it is super cool to see. Got 188,000 blood diamonds here. Um, these stacks just kind of remain the same, kind of don't. We, we do mystery chests and I do sometimes infuse stuff into blood diamonds. Got a lot of blood shards too. Uh, I feel like this tab looks the same. All that happens is the numbers change a little bit. This tab is insane. Uh, it's it's been it's been a nutty ride here. Oh, before I move on, sorry, I got a little little, little ADHD moment. I just remember one of our, our my one of my favorite collections here. The Bones collection has definitely grown. I've been buying Bones a bunch. I raised the price. I used to buy them for 100k each. I'm buying them a mil each. So if you want to sell me Bones, either PM me or just put them in the TP. I'll buy them for a mil each. I'm not going to raise that anymore. But yeah, pretty cool. We're, we're getting closer and closer to 10 mil Dragon Bones, which is cool. I also want 10 mil Bones, but I don't know how realistic that is in my lifetime. Because I think these just come from like people. This tab, let's talk about it. Uh, we had 111 Blood Relics uh, and then the, the, the Blood Relic update came out with all the new slayer helmets uh, and i sold a fuck ton of them for like a quad and we only have five left so that's kind of fun uh 205 000 point boxes wrath runes magic tokens rev ether a lot of big stacks up here we got five vorkath heads our mythic token stacks have grown a lot because i've been doing a lot of spawners uh the chaotic mystery boxes are growing too laren's keys look cool these things i'll never touch uh, rev caves, combat pots, all, all that stuff, all the basic junk here. We got 210k in blood money in this alone, which is kind of fun. A lot of ornament kits here, 22,000 mysterious task bottles. These have changed from the last year because they've changed how task bottles work. A lot of Vorkat teleports, a lot of blood rev ashes. Lux scrolls got 507 of these. It's like, I don't know, 25 trill. 
And this is a, a, a honestly a huge part of our bank here. Not a huge. This is like a quad though. Got a lot of grand crests, a lot of bond casket keys, blood wild caskets, all the openables pretty much. Mystery tickets too. Uh, stuff I'm saving for the next stream here to open for our log. I've got the entire Chris Treasure log pretty much ready to go, but I want to do that on stream because I think it'd be really fun to do. But that's that's most of this tab. We got the Hunger Games point lamps, all that stuff. Some enhanced pet fuse boxes in case they ever come out with a log for those. 250k in blood money here. The Zeric caskets. These are really useful for for uh, the collection log. I'll, I, I have a video coming out uh, opening a million of those soon, so that, that'll be fun. And our last tab here is our emblems tab. We've got. <laughs> Just in Cursed Blood Orbs alone, 225 trill, along with all of these as well. This is like probably 300 trill tab. A lot of emblems. I traded in a bunch of my tier 10s a while ago for pet fuses because I was, I don't know, I wanted to do it. Our gold artifacts, deep wild and stone artifacts are looking very nice from the glorious wild caskets and from assorted PKing, but mostly from glorious wild caskets. So yeah, that's that's our a, a short overview of the bank. I know it doesn't seem very short, but there's just so much to go over. I didn't want to take up too much time. I think... You know, the bank is looking like it's in a very good condition. I'm very happy with where it's at. I do giveaways constantly, which is cool. And the plan is to give everything away eventually. Um, again, we got an Ancient Hydra giveaway on this video. Uh, let's look at the TP real quick, though. I do have a lot of stuff in here. Almost 3,000 pet mystery boxes. 915 Grand Crest. A lot of Rings of Vigor. A lot of epic pet mystery boxes. 28 Bonds. Uh, an extra four, extra Holy Corp, extra Tome of Fire Eye, extra Unholy Behemoth. The total value of the bank, I did calculate it all, comes out to, with the new stuff from Resvanos, you know, from, from that session there, comes out to around 100 quad if you PC all the all the customs at like Behemoth price is at Behemoth price, Wolver price is at Wolver price, which is obviously not realistic. So it's likely more than 100 quad, but for the safety of, of you guys, saying oh it's not worth 100 it's 100 i priced everything super duper low so we could just settle that argument right here right now 100 quad bank value is pretty cool the biggest ever in spawn pk uh, i'll keep making content for y'all uh, i'm running out of gamble footage too by the way so anybody who's upset about the videos being behind they soon will no longer be behind uh there's a lot of work that goes into this channel uh and i just wanted to say thank you all so much for supporting me throughout the years i'm approaching three years or four years almost uh, on Spawn PK and making private server videos, I wanted to thank you all for making you know this possible as a, as a career for me, as as something that really helps my life. I've I paid for college with this. I've I've really changed my entire life. I'm, I'm an actor, and this makes it so I can just go out and do like the artistic stuff that I want to do. And I I I really I appreciate y'all so much. It really has meant the world to me. You know, I know like a lot of a lot of people feel certain ways about the content or me or whatever but like to those of you who have supported me and who continue to support me really thank you from the bottom of my heart it means a lot to me um i hope you all have a really great new year uh, a video will be coming out going over all the cosmetics and the and the new customs and the old customs i'll do a whole video about that um yeah sorry to get all sappy but i, I really do appreciate you guys so much and without you i couldn't be here so really thank you from the bottom of my heart um that's gonna be it for the bank video i think check out our, our new little set here kind of kind of a fun one anyways folks let's go over the giveaway one more time the giveaway is one ancient hydra to one lucky winner about 100 trillion gp in value sometimes more sometimes less depending on the day all you got to do to apply for that is like the video comment your game name in the comment section and be subscribed um that's it folks it's that simple that easy thank you to scooby-doo for helping me pay all the giveaways thank you to my editor uh anyone who's helped me along the way i really i can't say it enough i appreciate you guys so much um yeah I, much love. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.